while the world is stunned to see the image of violence and looting in South Africa in the media. Many are trying to find the root cause. In this protest, 212 people is killed and many are injured. In this video, we will explain why the South African protest against their government and its geopolitical impact in South African politics and regional politics. Hi, I am RDN and welcome to Grand Chessboard. South African formal president Jacob Zuma, who was in power from 2009 to 2016, was forced to resign a year before his term due to pressure from his opposition group in his political party, the African National Congress ANC. On 29 June, Zuma was sentenced to 15 months in jail for contempt of court after he was confused to testify in a corruption case. Shortly after the news of Zuma's arrest, massive violence erupted in country's most populous and economically important province. At the same time, there was terrible looting. President Ramaphosa's government had deployed 25,000 troops for three months to stop the violence, which is the largest military mission since the country's apartheid government. Government officials have variously described the problem as economic sabotage, calling it uprise or revelation. President Ramaphosa said the violence was predeminated. He initially called the issue the racial integration, but later the backtrack. However, the country's political and military leader did not agree with the deployment of troops on the eastern or declaration of a state of emergency. At a meeting of security agency, the military officials directly informed that the soldier did not take to state to enforce the law. The police are responsible for enforcing the law. Top ANC officials say the violence was a concerted effort, behind which are dozen of supporters of the formal president. Early in the violence, car were set on fire. The important seaport of Durbin was then cut off from the economically important province of Guetang. The intention was to put more pressure on the now defunct economy and put the Ramaphosa government in trouble. The purpose of bringing military force to the state is not to stop the violence, rather to protect the strategically important installation such as Durbin seaport, oil refineries, communication network, important business establishment, food or fuel supply line and so on. There are now two factions within the ruling ANC. One group say the Ramaphosa is trying to salvage the country's structure and accountability from a decade of corruption under Zuma. Another group benefited in various ways during the Zuma's regime. Now their position under Ramaphosa is again under the threat. On the other hand, the Jacob Zuma supporters say the government's failure to improve the condition of the poor speak volume about the political division and at the same time predicted violence. The issue of racial segregation is not widely discussed in South African politics. The division also exists during the time of Nelson Mandela, the leader of country's black right movement. The largest ethnic group in the country is Zulu, which number is about 1 crore 10 lakh. In 1980s, Mongo Suto Buthelozi formed a political party for Zulus called Inkatha Freedom Party. The ANC had been at war with Inkatha ever since. Inkatha was not involved in ANC movement during the country's political affair in 1990s. However, without implementing their demand, they eventually took part in election. 
in 1998 election in katha won 50% of vote in their main base kawa zulu natal but in, in no other province did they get ever 4% of vote in kawa zulu natal the anc received 32% of the vote in the next election However, the ANC vote in KwaZulu Natal continued to grow. In 2004, the ANC got 48% of the vote. In 2019, when the first Zulu president of South Africa, Jacob Zuma, was elected, the ANC got 63% of the vote. After Zuma lost the power in 2019 election, the ANC vote in KwaZulu Natal dropped to 54% the industrialized zulu region of the south africa are largely agricultural as per status of kwazulu natal has a per capita income of 7 out of 9 south african province but in terms of population kwazulu natal is second with about 20% of the population gueteng is the highest with 25% where johannesburg and pretoria are violence is currently raging in these two provinces where troops have been deployed wars still journals report say that violence is taking place in the area that have been hit the hardest by the corona virus and lockdown economically many say Many say that they are looting to save their families. A Reuters report say that the unemployment rate is the first quarter of the this this a record 32.6 percent, which is the highest since 2006. Ramaphosa's rule of law versus Zuma's ethnic strategy of economic emancipation confronts each other. Even after the successful de- democratic transformation in 